Welcome to this segment of Here, There, and Yonder. And we have in our studio today someone from Rock and Jay Reawakenings Ranch and uh, two dogs and one of the, the uh, people that they have served. So I want to welcome you, Aaron, and you, Jude, to Here, There, and Yonder. And uh, we're gonna start off with Rock and Jay. Aaron, would you tell us a little bit about the organization and and some of the things you do? Uh, well, we are in essentially a veterans ranch and community center. Uh, we, we focus on the veterans and then a lot of the kids stuff, especially lately. Um, we have horses and we do 4-H there, um, but we're really pushing um, dog training, service dogs, emotional support dogs, and just the fact that every dog deserves some training to function in this crazy human world. <laughs> right, absolutely. And um, now you also have horses there. Yep, I have a, cl a half Clydesdale, not an entire Clydesdale. Right. Uh, yeah, we've got our Clydesdale <laughs> and a couple other one, and people can take riding lessons or just go out and say hi and just hang out. Well, I was the first, my first trip over there was to just check it out because we had been at the, um, by County Fair, and that was, mm -hmm. I'd been introduced to your organization when you did some work over there. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to check it out and see what was happening, and, and there was this horse that um, came up and nuzzled me, and another one saw him doing that and came and nuzzled me too, and I thought, this is such a beautiful place. If I can ever get to a point where I could ride again, Mm -hmm. I think I'd need a, an escalator somewhere <laughs> to get on a we, horse. We've got a, a big old mounting thing. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, but the horses are so gentle, and the beauty mm -hmm. out there is just tremendous. So, uh, But you do a lot of different things, and mm -hmm. you've done a lot of things here in Grants. But let's just change our direction a little bit to Jude. Jude, um, what, has your been, what has been your experience at the ranch? Well, before I got my dog, I did have another little guy, and he, I think he was about 13, and he went to the ranch. Well, a friend told me about the ranch. I wanted to go out, you know, living in grass, I wanted to go to see some beautiful land. And a friend of mine told me about the veterans ranch, since I was a veteran. And she said it was very beautiful. And when I went out there, it, it is incredible to be there, and I almost didn't go. I was so afraid just to go, and I, but I got, I, I went, and then I met Aaron, and like you, the first thing I saw was, you know, the horses, and, um, you know, my other dog, Obi, he got to go, and, um, and he liked it too, and they mm -hmm. hugged him so much. And then um, I loved horses, but I got bit by one in the stomach when I was real tiny. So I was afraid, and Aaron was is like my horse therapy, and I just stood <laughs> mm -hmm. behind her, and she taught me to feed them apples. And then one of them, um, what was his name? Ab uh, Abuelo. Abuelo put his head right over here, and it was just, it was the most wonderful feeling, and I just fell in love with the place. And I'd go down there and just watch them bring in the truck and the trailer with the hay on it, and all the horses from all the land would just start coming to it like it was a fast food wagon, and it was just so magical. And then they started, they found out about the horse training, and uh, later on, uh, I I, you know, I I I told him I wanted to have a, a service dog, and um, Aaron actually, you know, interviewed what my needs were, and they, you know, Obi had passed away. Actually, you know, I buried him out there, which was really nice. They helped me, and I told him, you know, I waited some months, and I was just needed a dog in my life so much. I've always had one, and. Um, she actually asked me questions about what would be the best dog for me. And then, um, you know, Anna w was born out there to her mom mm -hmm. and dad. And they said, they selected her for me and 
fell in love with her, and then we started the training. So this is the dog that you have acquired to help you? With my, uh, with, yeah, I got, you know, um, I don't know how other people do it, but I, my doctors gave me the permission to have a service dog, because some people just say they have service dogs, but they're really not. What is it? And you need to have fraud. a, yeah. Um, a, it has to be a real a reason. And, yeah. But it's been wonderful for me and her, I believe her mom is a, a great Pyrenees and her dad an Anatolian. Come here, baby. And uh, so I'm hoping she won't grow much bigger, but I think she will. You know, come here, babe. She might have to go. Is that yours? Yeah. Well, I'm not sure. Yes. So, so you are getting um, a dog, they're training a dog for you out at... No, she is mine. I I took, uh, I got her when, uh, they picked her out uh, from the litter, I guess, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. And when did I bring her? She's about four she's months about, old? Yeah, three and a half, four three months. Three and a half when she came. And she's kennel trained. And then I started, first I started the public lessons and I decided that um, the private lessons, because I, I, I think you need more um, in-depth yeah. training when you wanna, your service dog has to do a lot more than maybe there's different levels you would yeah. say. Like, yeah. <laughs> yes, there are. And um, so, but the Rock and Jay has provided you with the dog and the training, right? And so now you're able to I think your goal is to do what? Um, actually, you know, just having her go, um, go into, you know, all all kinds of stores or, uh, you know, she's been in the senior center now with me, um, is to go places, you know, she's, she's like my companion. Can you say that? You know, she's yeah. my companion. And... Um, it just makes your life better. Now, over at Rock and Jay, you have a lot of veterans that you assist. And mm -hmm. what types of things do you do for veterans? Uh, a large um, amount yeah. of them. Uh, it's a cross between like <coughs> companionship, because we really wanted our ranch to be a, like a community center where people bring their families, their kids, their dogs, the whole kit and caboodle, um, but also a lot of um, our big, th new thing that's coming out is that we help them get their benefits. We have a veteran service officer, like certified and everything. And good Lord, <laughs> he's probably done 20, 30 plus in the few months since he's been um, certified. So, so, you know, dogs, benefits, and then all kinds of stuff. Um, what is it called? Medical advocacy. If you're having problems with your doctor, we'll go talk to your doctor for you and kind of help mediate uh, that or give you transportation or you know give you a uh, temporary housing like all kinds of um, options essentially if we can find a way to help you we will okay and, they, they, and this is geared primarily toward veterans and veterans veterans and children right mm -hmm. right and so you have done a lot here in in grants and in Gallup regarding um, training of dogs you've got you've mm -hmm. got trainings every Almost every day of the week, don't you? Pretty close. Yeah. You've got, yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So pretty darn close. Right, right. So, um, Jude, um, how do you feel about the ranch? How do you feel about the things that they have provided for you? Well, you know, they've really... Um, yeah, they've been like a, a a family to me. They really have. I mean, I don't really have a family in this area, but they have, they're very caring people. And they're fun to be with. And they just, I'm glad I found them. I really, really am. I'm glad my friend found them. And I guess it was, she saw it on the internet, I believe, mm -hmm. and told me about it. So... So it's making a real difference in your life, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Um, 
she comes to my house more like she, virtually every Monday and even extra days. You know, I make her do my internet stuff for me because <laughs> I'm just really not yeah. yet, not there yet. Um, so Mondays are our big day. And um, then I might, you know, start taking another class that's going to be at your, that they do mm -hmm. uh, self-defense. Yeah, our self-defense class on Monday. Uh, that Matt leads and it's going to be in town. And um, they have barbecues once a month and then uh, like meetings that everybody can go to. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's on Thursdays. Yeah camaraderie meetings <laughs> and <laughs> right. I am looking more towards spring because I love it out there in the spring you know and um, it's just I like to take my camera out and it sounds strange but we go out and we look for you know the cowboys have been out there a long time but she likes to <laughs> chew yeah. on the cowboys <laughs> so we you know I went out there and got her a bunch then I cleaned them really well so she has those, and and just there's so much uh, you can take such great you know pictures out there and everything. You can because that isn't mesa, it? that mesa when to the, the east is just oh beautiful, yeah, isn't and when it? the sun goes down and there's the sunset and so some of my goals I told her is I want to spend the night out there some night after winter goes away a little bit and you know so I can see all the sky. I want them to drive me up to the top of one of the you know. Or Mesa. Mesa's. Yeah. Mesa's. I don't really want to walk up. <laughs> I, I want to go out there. I want to spend the night. And um, and I've been to Aaron's place a lot. I've been to um, your your father's place. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's really nice, you know, what they've done. And um, I think getting the information out there about everything she's doing and everything, you know, the other classes going on will help more people to really to know about it because it is a very special place and you know? it's you know we have so many veterans that are in need of yes. services and many of them go without mm -hmm. and so this is a way for them to get the help that they need I'm gonna just change the subject really quick because um, there's a relationship that Erin and I and her family and I have had and it deals with a dog by the name of Honey and so one day I was out at the Rue and there was this puppy that was between, I was exiting at the Rue and there was this puppy there between the interstate and Old Route 66. And I saw the puppy out there and I know that a lot of people just let their dogs run. And so I went and took care of my business and 30 minutes later I come back and here's this puppy in my lane of traffic pawing at the asphalt. And I pulled off, and by the time I pulled off, the dog was pawing at the cattle guard because there was water in the cattle guard. Mm. I was able to get Honey home, and the dog was starved and, of course, needed water and took this pup to the animal care center here in Grants. And um, ultimately, Rock and Jay, Erin and her family, and I co-fostered Honey. Honey has been adopted by a family in Edgewood. And so uh, I'm so grateful. He was a happy, energetic puppy that just needed attention and love and care. And now it's in the home of a family that really cherishes this pup. So that's my, it just means a lot to me that what you've done and your family has done for Honey. And, uh, and then, um, I have several veterans in my family, and so what you're doing out there is really <laughs> tremendous because if my family lived in this area, they would be involved, but they live in, a, in distant states. But yeah. I think our veterans really need the message of what you're doing out there because it's more than dog training, it's more than providing services, it's more than that. You mentioned family. And it is. Yeah. It can be like a family. Very much. I mean, there's a there's a lot of veterans and grants. I mean, and most of us don't even know each other, you know, that there are a lot. And um, so I was trying to get them, you know, the, and there's lots of things 
I don't know, I want to do archery someday. So I said, you got to set up archery. I would just love to do it because it's very calming, you know, so maybe mm -hmm. we're going to do, and then there's art stuff that's going to go on probably, yeah. arts and crafts. Yeah. And there's lots to build on. And these guys have been putting in a lot of work for a long well, time. Well, those that have suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder, this is really a needed program mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been given the high sign. So in closing, what would you like to say, Jude? I would just like veterans and families and kids to know there there's a very beautiful, welcoming place to go that's only, what, 20 minutes outside yep. of Grants. I mean, it's so close. Okay. And there's so many dogs. I mean, there's lots of dogs to interact with. Mm -hmm. and the horses and cats soon. Mm -hmm. So I'd, I'd like much more people to know, to see it just, you know, and a lot more support from the community people right. to support. That's right. Yes. And Jude, where is it located? Tell us how to get there. Oh, Aaron. <laughs> Aaron, you tell <laughs> you said, me. I'm sorry, Aaron. <laughs> did I say Jude? Yeah, yeah you did. Uh, Aaron, if right. you'll tell yep. us how to get there. So we are, uh, your best bet is to if you do Google Maps, is to Google Three Old Landfill Road, and that'll take you right there. Um, but if you're trying to do it the uh, old-fashioned way, uh, go towards Theroux and Gallup out of Grants, and it's exit 63, and you'll hit the, you'll turn north, <laughs> north, north. <laughs> you'll turn north, and then back towards uh, Grants as you hit the Tomahawk Bar, and there's two giant gravel piles. You'll take a left in between the two <laughs> giant gravel piles in and between. right at the crest of the hill, and about two miles. Wait for the train. Yeah, yeah. Watch out for the train. About two miles past. Um, Isn't don't they also call that the paper mill road or something? Yeah, the the yeah. paper mill and the Escalante power plant are oh. about a mile past us. So if you hit them, you've gone too far. But there's usually an American flag right out yeah. by the highway, yeah, so well, you yeah. can't pass yeah. it. Yeah. And a gate with all the. <clears throat> Um, service emblems are on the gate. Right. So yeah. I want you to just come on out and enjoy these people. Enjoy, find out what they're all about. They do have a, a monthly uh, event, and then uh, that's on a Saturday, the last Saturday of the month. Yep. And then on Friday evenings, you just have like a family get together. Yep. Just so come hang out. Yep. Okay. Well, thank you for tuning in to this segment of Here, There, and Yonder.